On average, one woman a week and one man a month is killed by a current or former partner. They are grim numbers. Vivian says she is lucky to be alive after years of domestic abuse. Thankfully, she found help and now she wants others to hear her story. I've been locked away and then reported missing as to police. Since she was just five years old. I have been burnt by cigarettes. I have had all my hair cut off. I have been kicked and beaten. Been made to starve. Vivian has only known a life of domestic violence. I've been made to feel like an insignificant nothing. As she got older, simple, everyday jobs could cost her another brutal attack at the hands of the man she trusted to love her. If I just forgot to fill up the ice tray, I didn't dust over the top of that cabinet. Did you ever think you were going to die? Oh, yeah. People never ever will understand the damage, the psychological damage too, mm. you know, the nightmares. It, it, jumping at stupid sounds, things like that. Vivian is sharing her story, not because she's a brave survivor. Vivian says it's necessary. You have no idea how many people are in the very same situation as me. The 52-year-old says she's been forced to flee for her life too many times. I've even parked outside a police station before, thinking, what safer place could you be? She says police protection orders only go so far. I know there's only so much that the authorities can do to protect you. But at the end of the day, when they're not there, you're on your own. During her darkest days, Vivian says she waits for one important phone call. You have these women in these advocacy services who come forward and they pick up the phone and ring your number. Are they like angels? Oh, my God. They're a breath of fresh air. To be honest with you, I don't know where I would be without them. What did they give you when you answered that phone? Hope and dignity. A lot of dignity. They made me feel like I was important. It's called the Women's Domestic Violence Court Advocacy Service. Emergency help, providing answers for all those scary unknowns once you're out of danger, like where to live. And I'll tell you now, you can't get in there quick enough. And you lay on that bed and I swear you feel like you could sleep a week. Where would you be without them? Probably dead, probably. It's one of the bravest things that a woman can do is to ask for help. Michelle Glasgow runs Women Illawarra, a service provider for the New South Wales Court Advocacy Service. It's quite scary because often women don't want their partner or their family member to get into trouble. They just want the violence to stop. Michelle says since 2017, demand for services has increased by almost 30% with more than 90% of referrals coming through police. That's a scary process. That means you have to go to court. That means you have to give ev evidence. There's a knock-on effect. So it's really quite terrifying because your whole world can change uh, by calling Triple O and asking for help. Michelle was a police officer for 13 years, specialising in domestic violence. I think for perpetrators, we have to stop looking at them as victims of their own family violence and look at them sometimes as what they are and, and that's predators. These are not random attacks, they don't just walk up to somebody in the street and randomly attack them. These are actually targeted attacks on vulnerable women and children. Michelle and her team of crisis managers walk beside women and shockingly even teenagers as young as 15. They provide simple things like food and toiletries, connect women with counselling, and even help them navigate the court system. Women feel like they're not going to be heard, they're not going to be understood and they're not going to be believed because that's one of the tactics that perpetrators use. Um, and that's the most important thing to us is that women understand 
We hear you, um, we believe you and we're going to do everything we can. In Queensland, DV Connect is there to help. Victorians can call the Safe Steps Family Violence Response Centre. Nationally, women can contact 1800 RESPECT. You know, they hold your hand, pass you a tissue. Those little things. Little things, it's the little things that mean the most, you know that. Little things that can change the lives of women like Vivian forever. I don't want any little girl who's growing up witnessing horrible things to grow up and end up in a relationship just like what her mama got her out of because she doesn't know any better. And you're so brave to speak out.